I am seeing so much about castor oil on TikTok, on Instagram. It's just all over the feed. So I wanted to do a deep dive into the health benefits of castor oil. Does it actually grow more hair? Does it make you look younger? Does it enhance your lashes? There are so many claims out there, but guys, let's look at the science. Let's see what the research says. There are certainly a lot of benefits to it. It's inexpensive. And hey, I see a lot of you guys loving using castor oil and I'm all about natural ingredients and you know, if, if it's something that you can use that's not gonna cause a problem and may potentially have benefits, I'm all for it. But before we get started guys, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe and share this with a friend because sharing is caring. I so appreciate your subscriptionship and support. So what is castor oil? Castor oil is an oil that is derived from castor beans and it is rich in ricinoleic acid which is a monosaturated fatty acid, making it a great moisturizer. It is kind of thick, so you might wanna dilute it down with like argon oil or grapeseed oil because it can be quite heavy in its raw form. And how does castor oil moisturize the skin? Well, it's an occlusive, which means that it prevents your skin from losing water. And when skin holds on to more water, it becomes hydrated, plumper. It certainly can improve fine lines and wrinkles just by hydrating and plumping up the skin. Because dry skin, you see all the little imperfections, the lines become more pronounced. So hydrating it, whether it's castor oil or other types of occlusives that help with it. Plus oils in general help soften the edges of keratinocytes, which are the skin cells. And by doing so, the skin appears shinier, smoother, glossier, and you can see this with all different types of oils, not just castor oil on its own. Now, there are some you know, reports that suggest it's also anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. We definitely need more research to back up some of these claims, but it's certainly a great moisturizer. Aside from moisturizing, what are some other benefits of castor oil? Well, it's rich in triglycerides, which is great at binding dirt, makeup, oil, and removing it. So I find it very useful as a makeup remover. So you can apply a little bit to your cotton ball, and use that to remove you know, some of your makeup before you do your formal cleansing. I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm so passionate about it and it's what I do your passion all the time. It can actually kind of be like the first step in your double cleanse. Another question I commonly get is, does castor oil stimulate hair growth? Well, it does coat the hair shaft, right? And it makes it shinier. So it's great for split ends. And by coating the shaft, it can help hydrate the cuticle of the hairs and make it less prone to breakage, but it doesn't actually stimulate hair growth from the root. Not like minoxidil or some of the other hair stimulating agents, it, it doesn't actually stimulate more hairs to enter the growing cycle, but it can help protect the hair shaft and by protecting it, it can make your hair maybe grow longer if you're prone to hair breakage. What about lashes? Does castor oil help stimulate and enhance your lashes? I know so many people that swear by this and same thing, it helps coat the lash to protect it. And by coating the lash, it can actually help it stay in place. So if you curl it, for example, or you take a little spoolie and you use it to kind of brush the lashes, it can help elongate them and sort of keep them in their form because it coats the lashes and prevents water loss and helps keep and maintain the shape of the lashes. But again, there's no evidence scientifically, there's no studies to support that it can actually stimulate your eyelashes to grow from the root. But hey, if you use it to remove your eye makeup and maybe you take a little spoolie and curl your lashes at that time, you are probably gonna wake up with plumper, more hydrated skin that's probably gonna have less wrinkles and your lashes will look or appear healthier and longer. So it certainly doesn't hurt. Who should not use castor oil? Pregnant women should stay away from using castor oil because it can potentially trigger contractions so you can go into labor. So if you're pregnant, I would stay away from it. 
Also, it can potentially cause rashes and allergic reactions, so you wanna be really careful. Maybe dilute it down. What about those that are acne prone? Well, castor oil is actually pretty low on the comedogenic score of only one, so it's really not gonna clog your pores like some of the other oils like coconut oil but again with oil especially in the summer when it's humid they can mix with the moisture and it can create wax that can ultimately clog your pores so i would be cautious in how much you're using it if you tend to have dry skin it may be a better fit for your skin than somebody who's particularly oily and you know castor oil is not very expensive and a little bit goes a long way i would say use it to remove your makeup particularly eye makeup, you can curl your lashes with it, put it on your split ends. And if you're constipated, you can actually drink castor oil because it does act as a laxative. But be careful guys, to always talk to your doctor before you start drinking castor oil. You don't wanna get yourself in trouble. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe and share this with a friend. Comment below, let me know what you wanna hear from me next. Until next time, bye guys.